worth thinking about the costs and the profits that some of the private train operators have been able to uh, um, generate to shareholders. And figures released just this week, uh, Madam Chairman, show that Govia Thameslink Railways paid out a staggering £82.4 million in dividends, with £62.3 million of this being for the 2023-2024 financial year, and that represents a 268% increase from the previous year. Now, in return for these princely profits, Govia consistently failed to meet two-thirds of its customer service quality targets, or so it was reported in the Financial Times. This situation was encouraged to persist under the last Conservative Government and I welcome the fact that Labour is making this a priority from day one.